So what's next in the final frontier? What do you see ahead for space? The founding purpose of SpaceX is to develop the technologies necessary to extend consciousness beyond Earth. But this is sort of a little cerebral, but perhaps appropriate for a Cato uh, event. <laughs> They're quite cerebral. But um, if you think about uh, the sort of Fermi filters of, um, you know, en Enrico Fermi has always wondered, where are the aliens? Why do we not see signs of them? <laughs> and I frequently get asked, are there aliens on Earth? And I'm, I haven't seen any signs of aliens. And I promise you, the minute I see any evidence of aliens, I'll immediately post it on the X platform, um, <laughs> the most popular post of all time. Um, so, but th that we haven't actually seen any evidence, or I'm not aware of any, it's just that consciousness is extremely rare. You know, if we believe the archaeological record and standard model of physics, Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Civilization, as measured by the first writing, is only about 5,000 years old. So archaic pre cune of roughly 5,500 years ago was the first writing. I think that's a good date for the start of civilization, which means that civilization has only been around for one millionth of Earth's existence, almost nothing. Thing. I think this potentially argues for civilization being fleeting and fragile. And so the thing that we can do to increase the probable lifespan of civilization is to be a multi-planet species, to extend consciousness to other planets, ultimately to other star systems. And this would massively improve the probable lifespan of humanity and consciousness as we know it. It's, it's really trying to get past the single planet Fermi filter. That's the goal of SpaceX.